right. So I guess let's start talking about that. Let's let's break down what that video was and let's let's release this forum. We've been talking about this for a long time. Well, I wouldn't say a long time, a few months. And it is ready and we are excited about it. So we all know the finsuite.com slash plus dashboard. This is what we released in January. And for a long time, we had this FinSuite support forum as coming soon. And you can see we've named this item in the navigation as support. And the reason is we are going to have this forum dedicated to support. It is going to replace Slack for support, and it's not going to replace Slack for non-support, for networking. So before we go into this support link, before we jump into this, we're going to go to networking. We heard from a lot of people that Slack is such a, a common application for them. They're on there every day. They're always talking. We see so much great conversation happening in Slack. And once we had the entire forum working, we realized it wasn't a replacement for Slack communication. It was a big replacement and a big improvement from Slack support, but the DMs, the the community channels, the all the all the kind of conversation there, that's not what discourse is all about. So we just felt it wasn't a good replacement. So we said instead of trying to fit everything into discourse, we are just going to make it support based. Networking, meeting people, sending DMs hanging out, some uh, special announcements, those will still be on Slack. It will be a very optional platform. This is still the home, this, this plus dashboard. But if you want to meet new people, that is what Slack is for. We're going to also make a lot of updates to this. Victoria will talk a little bit more about that, but we're removing all the product channels. So Victoria, what are we doing here with this Slack? How are we going to transform it for this new networking initiative? Yeah, exactly. As Joe is saying, the idea is to continue the communication in Slack. We want to make it more networking so you guys can also promote uh, products you guys are releasing, events you guys are hosting. So the idea is so you guys can also promote what you're doing in this Slack. So we're going to remove all the product channels, but we're going to add new channels. As you saw in, in the screen we're sharing, we're going to add, for example, plus networking or uh, community events. All the events you guys are doing, you can promote them in this Slack. So we're going to continue a communication. Slack will be open for everyone. We will, just, we will just have one private channel, and that will be for the Plus community. But besides that, everything will be open for everyone. So it's good so we can keep in touch and we can keep sharing many events. Some events we have planned with FinSuite and some events that you are planning. We also have a lot more networking initiatives later this year. So we're not going to talk about that on this stream, but part of the plus benefits, it's all about networking. It's all about meeting people. So we ju it just felt wrong to remove that, that networking effect that a, a public Slack channel has. So we're keeping it uh, of people already excited about this. I'm excited about it. Me too. But the real reason for this is support, right? This was the big problem on Slack. This is why we decided or we thought about moving off of Slack because Slack's not for support. It's for talking, it's for communication. So that's why we have migrated over to our new support forum. And we are calling this the FinSuite support forum. It's going to support all of our free products. Attributes, client first, let's go to the categories here. Attributes, client first, extension, community, and general. Any kind of questions that you have that you want to direct to our support team, whether it's some JavaScript, whether it's a attributes implementation, question about client first, these can all go in the forum. And the beauty of it is over time, it will become a, a database of answers. Right now, we've pre-filled it with a couple of really big FAQs. These are questions that we get all the time. How can I add a st how can I style an all button? Is there a limit to how many attributes I can add to one page? Right? These are questions that we see usually once per week. And we're copy and pasting the same answer. So now we can send you 
the the answer. And look how in-depth these are. Big thanks to Luis for putting this together. Look at all of this step-by-step -step information. This is how we want to structure a lot of this, this forum content so that once you get to a forum answer, it's going to show you what it is. It's not going to be this this web of all these answers and you're like, well, is there a solution here? Is there not? Am I going to find something? We want to have definitive official answers for every single one of these. And that's why the support forum is only for FinSuite Plus users. If you, if you go and open this in incognito, I'm not going to do it on screen, but you can do it. Forum.finsuite.com, open that up in incognito, and you'll see what a free user is going to see. They're not going to be able to post a new topic. They're not going to be able to access uh, the user list. They're not going to be able to chat. They can only read. So they can benefit from all the work we're doing here, but they can't ask support questions. Uh, we Support for our free products has to be paid for us to continue doing it. And because all of you have paid, you get that access. So you get the full, full view here, which is really nice. I want to move forward with a part of chat, if that's okay with you. I want to explain sure. how chat works. So we know that sometimes you guys need support in your projects, but the projects are private. So you guys don't feel comfortable sharing the read only link public for everyone to see and just with support. So we enabled this chat. This chat so is so you can talk dire directly with Luis or with Joseph, and you can send them the link if it's private. So you have the option of posting on the forum or you have the option of sending the personal chat. We will always encourage you guys to put it on the forum because that way we can help other people in the community if they have the same issue or the same question. But if there's a use case that you need it to be private, you can use the chat to send it to Luis or to Joseph so they can help you. And there you go. Just like that, I can go and, and send that message to Luis. And we are going to prioritize public topics. Right. Yes. It's we we really want this to be public, but we understand that some projects just can't be public until a certain time. So look, Luis is already online. <laughs> Thanks. You so so <laughs> and yeah, that's uh you know, it's kinda like Slack. We we thought that this was going to replace the the chat aspect of Slack and it just doesn't work. It's great for talking to Luis, it's great for talking to Joseph, it's great for um, sending a message to Victoria, right? If you need to to contact her about support, that's okay. But to to lead groups, to talk to the client first translators, to talk to flow parents, all these different groups, it was a little difficult. So this is really our support chat. Yes, and we're gonna keep the support channels in Slack for around two weeks while we transfer everyone to the forum. So we're gonna keep those channels active. But if you have right now some questions that you have posted and they're not, they are not answered yet, I will encourage you to put them in the forum because even if we have Slack, we're going to move in two weeks. So put them in the forum because those will be the, the support that we're going to prioritize, as Joe is saying. Exactly. Okay. So that's chat. Again, I'll say it again. We're going to prioritize the topics. So if I wanted to go and create a new topic, I can go and do that. I get a full screen view and I can say, how do my items don't load past 100? How do I load them all? So I can ask this question, post it in attributes, and then write my whole response. And I think there's a bit of a problem here with the zooming. I'm on super zoom right now so that everybody can see. When we created this, we we took the discourse full layout, right? Everybody knows discourse. Webflow uses discourse. Twitter developers uses discourse. It's the most popular forum uh, platform out there. And Sergey went through and he applied CSS to every single piece of this. So it looks like the rest of the FinSuite Plus dashboard. And this is my post. Uh, I'll, I'll just show here. I posted my new topic, I have my response, and then I will have a reply. And Luis is going to come in and reply to that, or Joseph is going to come and reply to that. And there we go. We even have this live replying here. <laughs> so cool. Nice. And I just want to mention that w when you saw Joe writing his topic, 
you saw also a screen on the right side. So sometimes when you're when you're writing a topic and there was already a topic that is similar, the forum will suggest you to check that one. Because maybe on search you couldn't find that issue and it's already posted, so maybe the answer is already in there. So when you write something, sometimes on the previous section, you will receive a screen where you're suggesting similar topics to that one you're writing. So that's also the screen you saw when, when Joe was sharing. As you can see, we've simplified a lot of the Discourse Forum. Discourse has so many options, so many things to look at, and we just wanted to simplify it as much as possible. We want you to ask questions, we want you to get answers, and we want a ticket-style system that we can support you with. So as you can see, we've changed a bit of the UI here. If you go to any other Discourse Forum, you'll see more columns here. You'll see... Um, a like a little hamburger nav item here uh, and it will have a lot of a lot of options for you to choose from we took away all of that right we tried to integrate this to really make it look like it's part of this dashboard so you can see these these sub level items categories users leaders chat and then settings here so i'll quickly go through these we have users list of users, and as you react to things, as you really become part of this forum, uh, you get rewarded for it. You get higher numbers here, and that will translate to the leaderboard. These are some of the people that worked on it. That's why we're, we're top three, but it's, it's brand new territory. So if you're active in this, you could be a leader very fast, and these ranks go all the way down, right? Everybody gets one point here, but as you start interacting, as you start asking and answering and liking all that and all that stuff, this leaderboard will self-populate. We went over the chat and I'll open up settings here. We also simplified this, right? This kind of page in discourse is overwhelming, a lot of stuff. So we got some key topics here, some key items, and you can go through these sections to customize. Customize your notifications, turn off um, emails, turn on emails, customize how you're notified, preferences. We're not going to go through all of these, but just know that there's a whole bunch of options available. And we turned a lot of options off. I just, like I said, Discourse has a lot. One of them that I do want to go over is the username. So if we go into the settings and then preferences and account, we'll see username. This username can be updated inside FinSuite account. This will be the username for anything that we have usernames for. So that could be like the support forum. When we have WISD, it will be the same username. Uh, when we have anything else that has a username, this is it. And it's right inside FinSuite account. And this is very integrated into FinSuite account, like your email like your associated OAuth accounts. Uh, this is all coming from your my.finsuite.com, which is our goal for that is to be the, the management platform for everything that we release in the future. Okay, I'll take a stop here. Victoria, what do we have? Any questions here? Yes, I just want to add that when you go to your FinSuite account, on the bottom side, on top of support, you press account, and then you will see first name, last name, nickname, website. And that's the part where you can update it. So just click to that link and it will re redirect you. And now you can also then change your picture. You can put a link to your to your agency or you, any link you want, like Joe has it right now. So we have a nice search here. And as we have hundreds and hundreds of posts, this search will become very valuable, searching for keywords. Uh, this was nice. This was a, an important project for us. And it's only going to be more valuable with time and people posting, right? Today, it's moderately valuable. It has some really nice FAQs. It's going to help people to go implement. But after one year, after two years, that's when this becomes a true, true value. So this is a long-term initiative for us. It's for us, it's for you, it's for anybody that's trying to make a, a living building websites. Thank you.